is uh, Saturday morning, June 7th. I'm not going to do my regular nuclear uh, tracking uh, report. Um, this is here for anybody, netc.com, that wants to go check this out. The reason I prefer this one is that it is uh, counting gamma radiation. Uh, don't really care much about alpha or beta radiation. A uh, piece of paper will stop that. Your hand will stop it. Um, gamma radiation, however, is uh, a much more energetic and powerful form of radiation. And more or less, we can see that things are pretty much staying uh, the same they were. Very low numbers on the uh, west coast out here. These are what we should be seeing. Something I've been watching over here in Billing, Montana is kind of, this is really bizarre. I'm, I'm, I'm beginning to think that this has got to be um, uh, a calibration issue. They're reporting a high here of 888 currently at uh, in the 500s. Now you have to remember, and I want to share this with you. Now, one of my readers asked me the other day, "Is this the beginning of the collapse?" And um, I'm going to say yes, uh, not only to the environment, which is what he was referring to, but also to the financial collapse that's been predicted for some time. And even uh, Steve Forbes now has come on board saying that probably before 2016 we're going to see this happen. But we'll get to that in just a minute. Right now, um, in terms of radiation, gamma radiation, uh, it, the meters that we're using, and you can actually look up at Wikipedia if you do accounts per minute, this goes over what uh, the meters do and do not count. Uh, there are ways of converting it, but it's very complicated. And if you do not know, so here's the equivalent dose. And if you can't do the math, um, you're kind of SOL. But it will give you some idea, at least, of what we're measuring. And uh, this um, nrc.gov report on uh, biological effects of radiation is, is certainly something that everyone needs to read so that you can understand what the risks really are, what the damage can be. Now, remember, every time the, the, the radiation uh, detector, the Geiger counter, makes a click, and that's a count. So if you get 20 clicks within a minute's period of time, that's 20 uh, gamma particles that it's detected in its meter. Now, first of all, remember the meter is only about as long as your hand, or the, 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 the receptor for the detector, uh, and maybe half as wide as your hand. So remember that you are much bigger than that detector. So um, you're going to get more of those particles passing through you. Some of these particles may just pass through. It may not even hit anything. If you remember your physics, the, the, an atom is mostly space. This is certainly not to scale. If this nucleus were the size of, of a basketball, the first uh, shell of orbiting electrons would be about 20 miles away uh, and about the size of a grapefruit. So everything between that is empty space. So this dot right here should would be way off the screen. Uh, and we'll be doing a, uh, a short uh, Leonard Susskind uh, uh, professor will be uh, uh, using a clip of his in our upcoming video on the uh, holographic universe, which we hope to have done uh, the first part completed shortly. But anyway, this is a, a really good. It covers all of the different effects, what you can expect. Sometimes your body will repair the damaged DNA, but it can be scarred. It is not a perfect repair. Sometimes it doesn't repair it and it becomes cancerous. Sometimes your body will detect them and destroy them before they become a problem. But the more of these things passing through your body, the greater the chance that you're going to develop uh, some uh, sort of problem uh, and, and not just from uh, cancer. The, uh, the main thing that killed uh, people initially from Chernobyl was not cancer, but it was heart attack. The, um, it's a complicated chemical process where the, uh, the chemicals necessary to, to keep the heart muscle pumping becomes depleted by the uh, radiation. Some other uh, 
news that I wanted to show, uh, senior scientist Fukushima is not under control. It has alarm bells going off on West Coast. Former official, I'm humiliated. Japan lies to the world about how much contamination is entering Pacific. Nuclear material polluting ocean more and more. Um, here's a good site to radiationprevention.com. Uh, with your help, everyone will be able to see radiation is kind of their motto. Uh, I think it was uh, Dr. Uh, Caldicott uh, said that, you know, we don't get alarmed about radiation because we don't see it or smell it. If it were an oil spill and we looked up in the sky and we saw this huge cloud of black oil that started raining oil down onto us, we'd be upset. And yet this uh, radiation is, is far more dangerous. Uh, another article voiced out of Russia, Fukushima is human-engineered crisis that threatens health of Pacific Ocean. This ice wall is about the most foolish damn thing I've ever heard of. You've got a hot melting pool down there, and they're going to try and keep an ice wall frozen for however long. Uh, it's, 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 what an idiot came up with this idea? Anyway, uh, these, these are some of the, the ridiculous solutions that they they keep trying to come up with. Um, here's the thing on our, uh, some further uh, interesting um, uh, indications that we might actually be living in a hologram or a simulation, uh, in which case none of this will matter. But actually it, it will, because if you think about it, if, if, if it is a computer simulation, a projected holographic computer, then uh, it matters to somebody, it matters to, to whoever programmed it and is expecting a um, comprehensible uh, result out of it. Uh, so what we do may very well provide that answer. Now, back to the environment, and is this the beginning of the uh, collapse? Uh, I'm going to say yes. Uh, we are having just massive die-offs. I'm going to switch over here real quickly to uh, a short segment from uh, our friend over at uh, Suspicious Observers. I caught this on uh, his program today. Stepping back for some bad news. Folks, back when we reported the walruses and seals that appeared to have undergone chemo up in Alaska, we said we'd wait for similar wasting diseases further south along the coast. Now, the starfish. It's bad. Okay, so yeah, we've been watching that. The, um, the starfish melting the uh, sea lion and seal population along the uh, west coast has uh, plummeted. Uh, we're seeing drastic a drastic plunge in baby California pelicans, zero born in multiple study areas. Expert has said the bottom is dropping out uh, from uh, thousands to ten or less, and they don't know why it's occurring. Uh, we've seen all the damage to the seals up uh, around Alaska that are coming out with horrible, horrible tumors and uh, uh, other issues. So, is it falling apart? Uh, yep, yep, we got to do something really goddamn fast. So uh, enjoy it while you can, everyone. D decide where you want to be, who you want to be with. Uh, are they going to support you or are they going to shoot you for your food? It's really coming down just to that wire. And if we don't do something pretty soon, uh, you know, the elite are going to go into their bunkers and, and just wait for us all to, to perish. Uh, come out with their uh, technology years from now when we're all gone to uh, eliminate the uh, radiation by uh, uh, causing it to decay uh, on demand. Uh, the technology is there. So uh, take care. Best wishes to you all. Thanks.